Hi everyone. Hello. Hi everyone. Hi guys. Hi guys. Ah, 2015. Oh my gosh, what a year. I don't even know where to start. Like it's just been one of those crazy years that I saw like every single month there was something to be excited about. Last year, what happened last year? I think I found my personal style last year. I thought like I was really well dressed and my style has been developing for so long. Um, but I think last year was definitely when I realised exactly what I like and the kind of looks that I was putting together, I was really confident in them. And I don't know, I just really enjoyed filming lookbooks last year um, and sharing my personal style with all of you. Um, and just even the challenge of dressing well and dressing right in the UK, especially with the weather and that kind of thing. So I definitely, definitely found my personal style and I'm so excited about it because I don't know, it just makes you, I don't know, it adds to your character. It makes me the kind of person I am. And it's so individual and I'm just really glad I'm finding myself and style is such a huge part of my life anyway. So um, I really thought that last year was a good year for my wardrobe. <laughs> last year I also found my voice, which I feel like knowing that I was able to say half the things I said last year from um, showing you the real me at the beginning of the year to even doing like the Kindle month in April which was really amazing I think that really helped me as well just to be able to talk about things that were bugging me and things that were on my mind that I felt that it would be good to share with you and I was glad I got responses because I know I'm not the only one in the world that goes through things that struggles I hope that you liked that, that kind of side to me and kind of chatty side. I realised it was really hard to edit some of the videos because even I was like, okay, you know, you kind of need to shut up now. I was talking so much, especially in that chatty makeup video. I think I was just kind of going all out and saying what I need to say and just saying it as it is because sometimes you just need to do that. I don't know. I like that side of me. I like that I can talk about stuff and, and no one's going to like keep me quiet. I am kind of personally, you know, I am a shy person, but when I get in front of the camera like I am now I feel like really bubbly and confident and I just love the fact that YouTube does that for me so um, last year was such a chatty um, year but I definitely found my voice and I'm definitely not letting up at all so expect many things this year expect me to go all out as well because I thoroughly enjoy it I feel like I can whip up a really mean meal <laughs> or rather a really mean dessert. I think I'm beginning to earn that name of baker amongst my friends and family. Um, I go to places and people would expect me just to produce like a cake or something for them to eat. Um, and that was kind of funny. I feel like everyone thinks I'm like some kind of amazing cook and like I make everything. And I'm trying because I do have a sweet tube and I do like indulging in a bit of baking. Um, but I think it's just really funny. So if you have a party and you invite me, then be sure that I'm going to be bringing the cake because there ain't no good party without cake. Cake is life. Basically. <laughs> Okay, my favourite moments of 2015, wow, Beautycon has to be up there in one of my ultimate favourite moments of 2015 um, and that was just such a privilege, I was so glad that uh, my sister actually won tickets for that. Going as a YouTuber to a YouTube event where I could vlog so freely and meet other YouTubers and meet sometimes some really great people as well was awesome and I think it just made me remember how much of a community it is to be on YouTube and it's so nice to meet some of the people that I love watching like from Patricia Bright I love her so much and Tasha Green as well was like one of my highlights meeting her because she's so genuine um and I don't know just the whole buzz of the day it was just such a buzz and just getting to try out makeup um and obviously taking loads and loads of selfies obviously you know vlogging and everything like that uh, but it was an experience. It's kind of strange to go to an event that's based upon a virtual world and then get to see everybody in real life. Mm -hmm. Beautycon was incredible and it was definitely a day well spent. So if you're going, then hit me up and we can go together. Also, another massive highlight for me was my friend's wedding in October. Um, and that was a wedding that was a long time coming. I think we spent the entire year just planning that wedding because it was so epic. Um, and just being a bridesmaid, it was such a blessing. It was such an emotional day as most weddings are. And just having your friend getting married and seeing her grow from when you first met her to, um, you know, actually saying her vows and stuff at the altar. That was just emotional. I just had such an amazing time. You know, some things fell apart, the cake wasn't ready, um, people were dropping out left, right and centre and, and it still happened and I just think, you know, that's good planning, definitely. That wedding was intended to happen and it, it got there. So I, I'm just so glad that it went well and I still wish them the very best. 
I think that's kind of all, otherwise I would literally be sitting here chatting about everything right now. 2015 was just crazy, it went crazy quick. Um, it's been a good year, my 22nd year on this planet. Learning a new age this year is going to bring new challenges and new mess um, and then new breakups and also, you know, um, new resolutions and so on. So I'm really excited to see what this year brings. I invite you, if you're not already subscribed, to go ahead and click that subscribe button that's down there somewhere um, and show a bit of love. And again, I would really love you if you did subscribe to this channel. I'm going to go now and do something else productive. But I'm going to leave you with a few of my highlights from the year 2015. And I hope that you enjoy them. And I'll see you soon. Take it away, Tori. Yeah.